you know, just another day for me. I got this uh, motor that I had a real hard time finding. You know, it come off of a Hussman evaporator, and you would think that that would be easy to find, but it's not. So I had United to find it for me. Never underestimate your suppliers and their abilities. So what do y'all think about so what do y'all think about it when they put the set screw that you tighten down on the shaft between the blade and the motor on the hub behind the blade so you can't you know get it off why do they do that what do y'all think about that I don't think I really like it very much I don't think it's a very smart thing to do but am I, am I missing something I probably am anyways beware when you're installing blades to not bend a fin a wing on the fan because if you bend it or push it or if it changes shape in any way you'll never get it perfectly balanced again and with that being said, that's why I think it's a really stupid idea to put the set screw on the hub on the inside or behind the blade shell. That's why I think this is a bad idea because you've got to, you better have a long Allen wrench you know, like a six inch Allen wrench. Well, you just better make sure that you don't do, you know, that. And this has been around for a while. I don't know, maybe the shaft isn't long enough, perhaps. Or the, the unit is so low profile that it can't have, it can't have a shaft sticking out over here and a hub over here could be so take your your stuff and do it very very carefully you know something like that and don't mess the blade up by accidentally bending a wing on it something like, like this maybe let's see put that in there like that and I put that in there then I can get I can get some some turn on it but I need both hands to not bend stuff that happens. That's why they should make it easy to pull off and easy to put on. So I think See? You 
gotta pay attention. probably gonna gonna twist it straight once I put some force on it So what do you do when it is bent? Well, what I try to do is show you. take it back off, of course. If you can get it off now, okay. Get it off, and you find out where. That. So, let's bring it over here. So, if it's good from the factory, then all four, or in this case, all five, should touch perfectly. And when they are touching perfectly, flat on your flat surface, this should probably be level, I think. So, I would have to say... This needs to be more like I think that this wing is bent, causing it to push all of this up. This one. And I think this one needs to Yeah, I think that's the I think that's the bent wing. This one might be a little bent too. Push around all five of them and try to see. Them. Then you also have the uh, pit to deal with. So it's nearly impossible to get these things right.
Now I have adjusted it some with my gauge there and it's by no means perfect but it is a little bit better I think. This is level. These are all roughly 25 to 28 degrees each. Pretty close. There's so many different planes you have to look at here. You've got You've got this plane, see if that's flat against the surface, see, let's see, you see how this one is not, this one is sort of flat, that's not, that's not, they're all not flat, neither are those ones. This blade is perfect. But the hub is level. Place. Or as close as I can get it. It was damaged from the, you know, damaged in freight or from the factory. That's how I got it.